How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf, and today I just want to show you, I suppose the main thing really is to do with this uh, ramped flatbed. As you can see, I was uh, I kind of found it out in yesterday's Fleet Star review, and I was going to leave it in the video and it was like, it was just going to end up uh, making it go on a bit longer, and I was like, in the end, I thought I'd rather just do a, uh, a separate video and show you kind of what I've found so far with the ramp trailer, and there's something definitely wrong with it. I've sort of been able to show it this time. You see, going along here as well, and at this point, I did this trailer before I did the semi For some weird reason, I picked this trailer and forgot to put a semi-trailer on. Um, driving along here, going in auto, I'm struggling to get like into the higher gears. And like I said, at this point, I wasn't really sure if like that was the trailer or the truck. Especially because it's an early game truck, I thought, well, maybe it's just one of its limitations. But I was kind of doubtful because um, the trailer... Uh, the service spare parts don't really weigh a lot. So I ended up jackknifing a bit there, which... Um, yeah, somebody said earlier, and they are right, this steering is like got the same issue as the M, uh, the Freightliner M916 or whatever it's called. And I don't think it's as bad as the Freightliner, because for whatever reason I just can't drive the Freightliner in a straight line. Whereas this, I don't like the steering, but yeah, it does that thing where you say you go to turn left it does a little bit of right steer first and then goes left anyway now we're here I didn't mean to do that winch I think I was trying to put the diffs on and it uh, yeah I did the winch instead so anyway I get to this point and the um, truck starts to slow down and to be fair it doesn't even really look like it's struggling it looks like I've winched to a tree and it's just locked me in place and it's like I just can't move any further if you watch the back wheel of the trailer as it's slowly dragging forward I'm convinced it's not rolling as fast as it should be, like, that's basically as if the wheel was locked up or it's got, like, some kind of brakes on it, because, um, well, yeah, I, like, I don't think the wheel was fully rolling then, like, it was free to move, it was, uh, having none of it, really, it was kind of going, but not enough, and then now I'm basically locked in place again, it's not moving, it's not having any of it, um, I end up using the winch, on some of these trees, not for long. I just had to kind of get it moving again. It's harder for me to tell because it, uh, when I'm recording my voice, it shrinks the screen down. But to me, there's definitely something wrong, not just with the front end of the ramp trailer. Like clearly, those tyres uh, were locking up, but I don't know how. Like the only way I could sort of explain it is like there's some kind of invisible. Thing underneath the trailer now, probably nearer the front half of the trailer, that kind of digs in or something that obviously you can't see or anything. It's not causing the terrain to react, but it's like it's just possibly clipping. Like maybe it's the tyres themselves, and they were kind of clipping and locking into the snow back there. So rather than just rolling freely, they yeah, we're having none of it really. Like I say, it's like I've got the brakes on and I'm trying to drag a trailer that really doesn't want to be dragged. And when you're going along just a normal road that has no terrain deformation, obviously it's not really an issue, but I've certainly noticed it. I've mentioned it in the last sort of couple of weeks worth of videos, I suppose. Maybe not quite a couple of weeks worth, but either way, when I believe it changed, I did kind of notice it pretty quick and start mentioning it. And uh, yeah, when I got this footage, I was like, it's pretty clear that it's doing it and I mean you can see how long it's took I know I drove here first and that but it was pretty slow progress over there it's not even liking driving that much now I suppose I'm in low with the diffs on so it's not really going to be much faster than this anyway but even driving all along here it feels again like it's a lot heavier than it should be I don't really see any reason why the ramped flatbed would be heavier than a semi trailer and I also never noticed it before. I used the ramped uh, flatbed way more than the semi-trailer on my actual playthrough because I was using the Navistar for a good chunk of it and uh, obviously that one you can't have the crane and the semi-trailer. So I used the crane and the, this ramped flatbed loads. So going along now, I believe I put it in high and stuff and back into low, but yeah, it's not. You can see now it's almost like I'm dragging an anchor. Imagine like a tractor pulling competition. <laughs> this is like near the ends of it where it's just not having it anymore. Just have a quick look. Though. That's me uh, 
trailer park is going pretty well I might say it's getting pretty full so you can see now I've gone into water and I appreciate it, it takes the diffs off but yeah it feels like a much more severe resistance than it should be so at some point I obviously realized what the hell was I doing even taking a ramped flatbed because I can put a semi trailer on I honestly don't even know what I was doing um, I did all the cargo tests properly as such but I just did it with a ramped flatbed for some reason so like I say I came back I grabbed this I mean flying out of there it feels a lot more free it doesn't really feel like there's a hell of a lot of weight on me and I know like the semi trailer sits on the back of your truck rather than its own separate carriage sort of thing so you kind of sit in the front of the weight on the back of your truck but nonetheless I never really used to find it to be an issue and you can tell now it was going up through the auto gears much nicer and bearing in mind I appreciate this isn't the heaviest cargo but I've got one extra cargo than I did have with the uh, ramped flatbed. I mean, look at it over here. It's like a completely different truck. I know it's going to slow down now. I, to be honest, there forgot to uh, put it out of high. So, forgetting that little bit of wheel spin, which is kind of the mechanics of the game, stick it in low with the diffs on. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like I've, I said with this truck in the review, it's pretty slow in just basic low range with the diffs on. But, nonetheless, it doesn't feel like it's now you know nine tenths of the way to getting stuck it's just yeah slow really quite low revving in low range and there is that route in the ground somewhere around here that I had to uh, sort of drive around a bit but either way you can already tell it's a much smoother cleaner drive over there. It's a lot quicker as well. Actually sounded like it was revving not too bad then considering it's uh, still in low range with the diffs on. But even then, can you? I would say it looks freer than it was in the last like a minute or two ago when I was driving this exact same bit with a ramped flatbed. I mean, look at it now. I've gone into high and it's pulling along. Yeah, it's not flying along in high, but it certainly feels a lot more manageable than, uh, yeah, the ramped flatbed. So whatever they've done to it, I don't know, but I'd avoid it. Don't even put yourself in a situation where it's going to bite you in the ass in 20 minutes' time. But yeah, that's about it for the main part of the video. That was the... Uh, fleet star going through the water so yeah the rest is just more messing around I was about to jump on the flatbed and I was like well got an idea
What a goddamn human centipede of a vehicle. I mean, that's a road train, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I was supposed to be testing the uh, ramped flatbed, and then I got sidetracked when I was putting a loaf <laughs> on the flatbed. Next thing you know, I've got like a 120 foot 8 vehicle convoy thing going on or something. But I was able to move the good old dolphin. So uh, yeah, I mean what have we got? Got a dolphin, got a loaf, got a ramped flatbed with three loafs on it. Back loaf is towing a scout fuel trailer and then it's winch to Bruce. Bruce has got a Taz. Bruce is towing a trailer that's got a maintenance repair thing on, a Ford F750 and a repair thing. I'm leaving the thumbnails in. YouTube keeps stealing my thumbnail. Well, I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's my computer, but something. So it's much easier to just <laughs> leave a tiny bit in the video, screenshot it and add it back if I need to. So uh, yeah, anyway, went for a little little test drive with my super cool as Ford Loftastic expert Taz Bruce Dolphin truck. That's right, just in case you didn't hear it in the back. That is my super cool as Ford Loftastic expert Taz Bruce Dolphin truck. Pretty catchy name, I think you'll agree. Long range edition, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, what's this thing even got on it? It's got like... Um, I don't even know. Thousands. Thousands of repair points. <laughs> thousands of litres. It's probably got like four or five thousand litres of fuel. Four or five thousand repair points. Fifty odd spare tyres. I mean, eight odd winches ranging from the best winches in the game, such as loaf winches. We've got autonomous winches, autonomous scouts, autonomous mediums, advanced heavy, advanced medium, advanced scout. I mean, we've got everything. I'm not sure there is a situation which I couldn't get into and back out of with all these here. We might lose a few along the way. That's not a problem because I can recover most things. I mean, there's a trailer from, yep, I was testing the other day didn't quite make it as far as the ice but that was the original plan but then a giant rock came out of nowhere I mean that's what she said didn't lie about something like that so anyway I was, uh, I was going for the ice crossing <laughs> it didn't have highest hopes if I was honest and uh, yeah that's about the second time I think that I can remember anyway where I've actually managed to <laughs> cock up like my frames per second and the only other time I did it was top gear truck darts when there was quite a lot of stuff there and it was snowing but yeah, once I'm in the ice, it's just... When the back tyres are out, the nose pushes fine. There's just something. Once you're actually full in the ice, it's like it just locks you in place. So I ed edited a few bits out. I winched it out with the uh, Voron Grad. I've also got the P16 there. Winching Bruce across. He was obviously doing better once. I've uh, got him winched to this. Almost, though, tipped my uh, trailer with the loafs on it. I mean, the original plan was to use loafs like cargo and test the ramped flatbed but yeah as you can see things did go a little bit astray I'm not gonna lie I've tried tried to stay on target but I've done none of it I mean yeah Bruce got through that alright the ramped flatbed not too happy about it obviously the maintenance trailer that's kind of laying sideways on it was not too happy about it either but one thing I did want to test was my theory that I would be able to park something on a ramped flatbed, flick the ramps up, and then connect the trailer to it afterwards. So technically, and I will try this at some point, but if I got, say, this dolphin with the ramped flatbed, and then put the Fleet Star on the back with its own flatbed, and then put something on that flatbed with its own flatbed, etc., etc., in theory, I could have, like, instead of having to use winches, I just have a massive long line of um, trucks kind of hanging on the back end of the flatbed and locked into place by the ramps because I have to say the ramps lock stuff in place incredibly well I know it looks like it's a uh, tip in there and it's almost about to go but even that uh, Ford F750 towing the repair add-on thing I don't even know what the name for that I just call it the repair add-on thing or the repair trailer thing um, yeah it never once even when I uh, the F750 fell off sideways a bit, it never 
bent those like ramped flatbeds anymore. Those ones with the loaf are just at that angle because that's as much as it lifted when I lifted them back up. See, so driving along, like, hang on a minute, what's that in the mirror? Just a goddamn human centipede of a truck. But yeah, some of you guys to try out, like, see how, uh, how many, like, trucks you can sit on the back of a flatbed. I'm certainly going to do it. See, there's something not right with that ice. It locked into that uh, Scout fuel trailer and wasn't happy about it either. So anyway, while I've got a few minutes left, like, what I wanted to say is, um, video's coming up soon. Like, I want to do my favourite trucks, because I've pretty much done all the reviews now. I do need to do, like, the TUZ-166 and the CK-1500 and so. As for the Transstar, what do people reckon the chances are of them adding all-wheel drive in the near future? Because... If there is a chance, I'd rather review it when it's got a wheel drive, but I don't know myself, like, I've not heard or, yeah, I've not heard anything on it, so I may just review it as it is. I mean, it's not going to have all wheel drive, so it's not going to be, um, yeah, I mean, the all wheel drive on the GMC definitely makes a difference, but still, I'll, I'll uh, send it through its, send it through the course at some point, but yeah, I'd like to do my favourite trucks, but I don't know whether to do my top five favourite trucks or top ten favourite trucks and if I do do individual videos on them they won't be as long, they certainly won't be like 50 minutes long but I genuinely don't mind, I don't care either way whether I do five or ten the only thing I would say, if it's the top five they're gonna be the pretty obvious ones it's kind of where the top six to ten where they're gonna be Possibly not everybody's 6 to 10 necessarily. But yeah, I don't mind either way. And then with Scouts as well, I was going to do them separate and I could do like the top 3 or top 5 or something. Probably top 5 max, but... Again, the top 3 are going to be probably... Fairly obvious. <laughs> I think the top 1 is. To be honest, top 1 nearly won both Truck and Scout. But yeah, that's what uh, that's some videos I want to do soon coming out, is uh, favourite trucks. Obviously, I don't know when they're releasing this new map called, like, Imadria or something like that. Um, I assume it can't be too long, though, because it's been on the test server now. It must have been a good week or two, and I'm pretty sure that's roughly around the amount of time uh, this Lake Cobbed map was kind of on that before they transferred it over. And that, I believe, is when we'll be getting all-wheel drive with the twin steer. Um, somebody mentioned something about the Derry getting more power or they're doing something to the dairy but I don't know if that's this time or if that's confirmed or anything like that but it'd be nice, it certainly deserves it it's not really in a a usable state at the minute so uh, I'm not going to leave too much of this footage in tonight, I did actually attempt the cliff but I might save that for uh, tomorrow because I also, basically I need a night where I'm just going to make a bit of a chilled video because I've got a few things I need to do. I want to try and sort the next step of the t-shirt thing out. I need to link all the account up and blah blah blah. Yeah, so I've got things I want to get sorted. So uh, tomorrow I might do kind of part two of driving around with the um, super cool as Ford Lovetastic expert Taz Bruce Dolphin truck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I attempt the cliff but I did split them in half and the only reason why is because I knew for a guaranteed fact if I attempt the cliff in one big line it's not like that that's going to be a problem but the Bruce is going to start steering before I get to the corner and just basically catch like the inside of the cliff and uh, yeah it's, it's just going to kind of mess the attempt up and I'm only going to have one attempt really driving this whole thing down there but yeah if you're interested in that I'll, uh, I might add the rest of the gameplay tomorrow. I've also got some Bruce mission gameplay I've been wanting to add for a little while but I didn't want to make the videos too long. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's about it for today. Um, try and avoid the ramped flatbeds if you can, unless you're making a massive giant truck. But apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.